Hey guys, what's up? I'm Craziac, and today I'm gonna play Renegade X. Boom. Uh, damn microphone, what are you doing in my face? Okay, so this game is a successor, sort of, it's a spiritual successor to a game that came out in 2002. Original Command and Conquer Renegade was based on, it was a first slash third person shooter, and the idea wasn't just to go and kill people, but rather to blow up entire bases and such too. This is a successor to it made by an independent studio, and the game is absolutely free. So what you're seeing here was built on the UDK, Unreal Development Kit, and this is absolutely free. So I, I, ha I have played some skirmish, I, I know a little bit around the game, and I have played a little bit of multiplayer. Um, I'm attempting to record this using my old software, but it has the same problem as Dream, which was also built on the UDK, and some of the footage just doesn't work. So I'm using a different recording software for this one. Um, so I'm going to do some multiplayer, and you guys can take a look at it. Um, I'm going to put a link in the description below. It's absolutely free. It's actually a reasonably small size for a game like this, too. I think it's 2 gigabytes or 4 gigabytes, something like that. It's pretty small. And it's actually a really good game. Um, this is an open beta, though. I'll keep you, uh, I'll remind you right now. This is an open beta, but the game will never cost money. So even if you see this video in five years and the game is fully released, uh, it will still be free. They're they not allowed to charge for this game. So, uh, anything reasonable in Canada? I don't like being in Canada. There's like US servers and there's like UK servers and Germany servers, but no. Okay, so let's just pick something. Uh, yeah. It'll pro we'll probably end up in the middle of a game, but that's okay. Middles of games are actually kind of better because there's already stuff going on. The beginning of the game can be a little bit mundane. Uh, but I don't really have too much else to say about this game. I'll kind of go through a little bit as I'm playing. Uh, okay. Basically, you're just a foot soldier at the very basic level. There's other characters like this engineer running around that you can repair structures and stuff with. But I'm not going to go into too many details of this. Um, I kind of want to emphasize the gameplay more than like the mechanics of the game. Um, well, the game actually just started. The scores are only in the 80s for people. You can see uh, games with individual scores of like three to 5,000. Uh, team scores of 10 plus thousand. But right now, yeah, this is basically a, a first slash third person shooter, so I can, you know, do that kind of stuff. And that harvester, the, the big truck you saw driving past me up there, and the one over here, this guy right here, provide money for the team, so that's why we're going for that guy right now. Hey, 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 hey! I stand no chance against this vehicle, but he has terrible aim, so... Oh, jeez. Hi there! What do you think you're doing, buddy? I'm trying to blast my face off. There is no friendly fire, so I'm exaggerating a little bit, but... Hey, 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 don't you shoot me. I keep forgetting to watch my health. In the original game, and I will be drawing some, some allusions back to the original game and kind of like comparing the two. In the original game, when you were low on health, it popped up like right beside your reticle. So, oh, I'm dead. So it, it showed you immediately that you were dying and that you needed to stop shooting at people and get the hell out of there. But uh, in this game, though, it just kind of sticks in the bottom left, which I, I would I would criticize about this game, but it's not. I mean, I, I'll get used to it eventually. Okay, so I'm gonna get a vehicle. Oh, hi guys. Sorry, just gonna drive through all you here. And, you know, shoot some stuff. Ah, uh, lagging a little bit in my vehicle. It's not quite responding the way I want it to. That's okay. Die. Ah, see, I can't do any more shit either, so I shouldn't be criticizing everyone else. There we go, I got him. Boink. Hi there. You can just go away. You can die. Die, please. Please, thanks. Okay, thanks, bye. Oh, I didn't get the kill on that one. There's much more important things to shoot. Like this jerk right here. No, no, no. No, 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 no. That is my engineer. You may not have him. My engineer. You can just go right the right the hell away. Piss right off, buddy. Ah, really? Another one? Why don't these things just die? Come on. There we go. Got one. Okay. Yeah, you just run into the field. Good job, buddy. You just run right in front of me. Oh, I thought he was repairing me fast. See, like I said, I, I just don't watch my health anymore. That's just a thing that happens. Yay, I killed him with a pistol. I'm so good at this game. I should have gotten a better thing than a pistol. Oh, no. No, no, no. Hey, blow it up. Blow it up. Blow it up. Oh, I killed myself, apparently. I don't know. I don't know how. I didn't manage to blow up any of my mines. I don't know how I killed myself. <laughs> This specific map was uh, was pulled from the original game and rebuilt to be like exactly like the original game, but uh, it, it unfortunately it brought hi there. 
Hi there, stop trying to break into the base. And unfortunately brought some of the same problems that were in the original one, which is that the team that I'm on right now, which is called GDI, for those not familiar with the CNC universe, this team has an inherent advantage in the field in that it is much easier to siege the opponent team's base than for them to see siege us. I'd hope that would be fixed in this, but I mean, I guess they wanted to keep try, try to keep the same balance in the original game. And I'd say that, you know, based on like win percentages, I'd say it's probably about 60-40 or 70-30 for our team. So hopefully I can make you guys proud and actually win this one and not look like a fool and you'll be like, Oh, you're the 30%, noob. Oh, hi there. I'm sorry, am I in your way? Okay, I'll just get out of your way then. You know, you just do whatever the hell you want. Captain Meat found a money crate, and you guys probably can't see that because it's behind my face. I'm sorry, my face is just in the way of everything. Yeah, well, I need repairs too. I am, I'm missing 13 of my health. This is a big deal. Come on. One thing I will notice about this game is that... Uh, whoopsies. It seems like tanks do more damage but have the same amount of armor, so like the gameplay is more fast-paced, which I think was their intention, but... Uh, not going to say that's a good thing, not going to say it's a bad thing. It's just a thing. You know? It's just one of those things that... It's just a thing. Oh, yeah, you know, just walk right past me without helping me heal. Thanks, buddy. Really appreciate that. So, yeah, you know, just drive over me. That's cool, thanks. Oh, guys, why are we back here? Get out into the field. I second that. Move out. Don't sit around our base. Get out there and kill shit. Now that artillery is dead. Holy crap! That is another mechanic in this game that was carried over from mods in the previous game. There's this crate you can pick up in the field that, uh gives you a random reward or penalty. In some cases, you can get nuked by an ion cannon. Just out of nowhere. Just like that poor soul just did. Um, okay, why are you driving on a cliff? That's not normal, spider tank. Not normal at all. Alright, come on. Rah. Come on. Die. Why am, I, why am I focusing on him? I'm a tank. Oh my, oh my. Okay, so that's a new feature in this game. They'll just uh, fly overhead and nuke the shit out of your tanks. That that happens in this game. It happens. Not gonna say I like it, but it happens. Uh, yeah, it, I think it was... Because in the original game, there were lots of problems with like sieges lasting too long. This kind of thing just lasting the entire game and not going anywhere. So that they added this mechanic of having these airstrikes you can call in, and uh, I think the basic idea was to to get rid of these sieges so that it would break front line of defense for one of the specific teams. Okay, back out into the field, blowing me up some tanks. Come on, Mr. Artillery, go six feet under, push up daisies, all that stuff. Come on. Ugh. Come on! Oh no, no, I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm dying! I don't wanna die, I don't wanna die! I don't wanna die. Thank you everyone who is healing me. Thank you to them. Oh hey look, I'm third! You can see on the scores on the right there. I'm, I'm in third place with 439 points. Aren't you guys just so proud of me? I'm so good at this game. I'm so good at this game. Look at me go. I'm just blowing up tanks and you know, killing them noobs. I'm killing them noobs. Why does the building need repair? Why does the building need repair? No building needs repair. The barracks, I guess. A little bit. Our base is fine. Go kill shit instead. Uh-oh. I need repairs. Thank you. Thank you. And no, this is actually good. I, I'm, I'm kind of glad that this is the game that I'm recording, because... What the... Oh. Stop lagging. Okay. Uh, because there's actually like, support in the field. Often you see these games where people just take a tank and go into the field and do nothing the whole time. And they lose their tank and, and they blow up, they die, and they run back to base and get another tank. And it doesn't go anywhere. The game doesn't actually do anything. So it's actually nice to have repair units out in the field. Unfortunately, both teams have them, so we're not making a whole lot of ground either way. But uh, it's definitely cool to actually see teams kind of working together. So definitely glad that this is, this is one of the games I decided to record. Oh, don't lag, please. Lag in the old game was so bad. The net code in that game was horrible. I, I did a lot of development work on that game and like modifications and stuff, anything from like skins to like changing the, the HUD to like running my own server. And and that game had a lot of problems with the net code, so there was like some really bad and like unexpected lag, but you got used to it. It was like a quirk of the game. 
It was just like part of part of what you knew. Okay, Mr. Mammoth Tank, don't you be driving into my face. Or that, that's my that's my ass. Don't you be driving into my ass. Don't you do no ass driving into my tank, bro. We need to push them in further into their base and start damaging their buildings. Okay, there we go. Can I just start hitting the buildings now? I am moving out. This is as far as I can move out without getting hit by their. Aw, oh, thanks, buddy. Thanks, you dick. That guy just pushed me into their base. He just pushed me into their base. Oh no. Oh no. Ah, uh, that's an airstrike. Don't hit me, please. I'm I am but a a single hot female that is repairing tanks. Uh oh. Uh. Yeah, with 40 people in the server, it, it, it a little little bit of lag. A little bit. A little bit of lag. But it's enough that you guys can notice me sliding all around and then jerking back into place. See, now I'm being helpful. I'm being a team player because I didn't just run back to my base and get a, another tank and come back into the field and be useless and lose my tank again. No, I'm actually helping them. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, okay, so we got like seven tanks here. We can like go into their base now. Come on. Uh, pansies. Eh, you guys just do whatever you want. I'm just gonna sit here and shoot my little blue gun in your face. These guys are too chicken to get into their base. Which means these- oh. Hi. What are you guys doing? Having a little orgy over here without me? Who would invited me to your orgy? Oh great, Scorpion picked up a spy crate. Which was also behind my face. The text appeared right there. So, a spy crate lets you be ignored by defenses and it gets you to be invi invisible. Not invincible, that'd be stupid. Invisible. Is really handy. Oh no 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 no! For infiltrating, but ah, warping all over the place. Which is really handy for getting into people's bases and like infiltrating them and being able to like take out a building, which is also very good in standoffs. Ah, yeah yeah, I'm with that guy. You guys didn't see that. Some guy behind my head said, uh, "Just rush in already." Go says Crazyak. Move out. Crazy Axe says, go! Okay, at least some tanks went in. Maybe there'll be some progress. Oh, no! Oh! Oh! I died. Oh. You guys should be thankful. It's a miracle I don't die more in this game. Hey, 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 So I can actually lock on with my missiles, though... I've never had it actually be successful. It's never actually been, like, homing or anything like that, so I'm not sure... I don't really know if it's a glitch, or if I'm just doing it wrong. It's possible I'm doing it wrong. This is, this, like, even though I played the old game, this is a different experience. It has different quirks, different controls in some cases. Uh, different stuff like that, so... Okay, don't move out yet, don't move out yet, let me get into position. Ah, that's what she said. Oh, we killed the Hand of Nod! So the Hand of Nod is what gives them, like, advanced units, like, faster repairers and, like, snipers and stuff. Um, so the fact that that's gone is going to help us. Oh, we killed the Obelisk too. That's their automated defense. Cool. So we basically won. So I, I did hold true to my 70-30 that I brought up earlier. We, we were part of that. Hey, hey, hey. No, don't get close to our tanks. I will drive over you. Ha! I drove over you in the base. And the refinery is destroyed. There's one building left, which is their vehicle production structure. The airstrip. Hey, 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 hey. You can just piss right off. No, don't go next to me. Ah, uh, I can't turn my vehicle fast enough. Come on. Come on. 13% left. Yeah, it's over. It's over. It's over. Good game, guys. We won. We won. But, uh, oh, I don't want to be not on this map. Being not on this map sucks. Okay, fine. I'll be not on this map. I'll, I'll shut up and stop whining. I know you guys don't want me to whine on camera, do you? Is that what you're here for? Are you here to see like, me for like ranting for like 20 minutes? Because I can do that. I'm not sure you guys will like it, but I can do it. Okay, come here. Come to Papa. Or just run away. Okay. So one guy says defend the harvester, one guy says attack the harvester. How about we just go near both harvesters and just kill shit? I'm good with that. Hey, don't shotgun me in the face! What kind of manners are those? I shotgun everyone to the face. That's right, look at me with my shotgun. It doesn't really look like a shotgun from that angle. But it's a shotgun, see? It's a shotgun. I promise you it's a shotgun. Why is my reticle yellow? It's only supposed to be yellow if I'm reloading. Is that a glitch? I don't know. I don't know if that's a glitch or not. But I don't like it. Hello? Anybody here that I can shoot? Or is everyone far away now that I have a shotgun? 
because that would be exactly what would happen to me. I'd run away and get the shotgun and be like, I'm going to blast all you people to smithereens. And then they just go ahead and, yeah. They just go ahead and make them all, ah, what, oh, what was that? And put them all, you know, far away so I can't use the damn shotgun. Come here. Come here. I want to shotgun you to the face. Okay, so I'm just right outside their base. If I go any further, that their advanced guard tower, which is their base defense, will just shoot the crap out of me. So I'm going to wait here for this guy, and then go, Kablammy! 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 Oh! I was, see, I was killed. I got too close. I got too close, and I was blasted smithereens by their, their tower. I like the little icon at the bottom there. Whoosh! I like it. I like it. I like it very much. That's cool. That's very cool. I, I, I will say that, like, as someone who gets very nostalgic about the original of this game, I was very concerned that this game would not live up to what the previous game did. Like, I, I was very concerned I wouldn't like it as much, that it wouldn't be it wouldn't be fulfilling. It would be like very sad compared to the original. I, I very much worried about that. But I will say that I whoopsie, sorry buddy. Sorry, I'll get out of your way now. I'll just go over here and do my own thing. You just do whatever you want, that's cool. But I will say, I'm very impressed with how this turned out. Like, the, the people that made this, uh, Totem Arts, I think was made largely, the entire studio was made largely of people that played the original. So they had a vested interest in seeing this turn out well. Don't, don't, don't you be shooting me. Don't you be shooting me. Thank you, thank you for repairing me. I hope you guys don't die by the missiles that I'm dodging. But yeah, like, they had a vested interest in seeing it turn out like the original. Um, not exactly, but like, with the same feel as the original. And I think they've nailed it. There was a previous attempt at a game like this in like 2008 or 10, and it didn't pan out. It got like to private beta, and that was as far as it was, yeah, as far as it made it, um, which was on the Unreal Engine 3. Um, and then they started making this one, so I guess it took about three years to make or so. Uh, it's a very good game. It is very good, and like I said before, it's totally free. You lose nothing but trying it out. And definitely, this game could use a little more recognition. Definitely could use a few more players, because we don't just want people who played the original game. We definitely want more people that... Oh, hi. Hi! I see you there. We definitely want more people that didn't play the original um, to give this a try, because it is a very interesting game, and the servers are better with lots of people. If you have anything, like, more than 32, the games get really intense. Like, if you have... I, I, when I recorded this the first time, I, I played a game that only had seven people in it, and, I mean, it was fun in a different way. Come on, move. Don't lag. It was fun in a different way, because I could go, like do missions on my own and like sneak into bases and stuff, which is my specialty in this game. But uh, definitely I would say that the game is more fun. Uh, okay, just get out here. I'm, my vehicle's gonna die, like no doubt. But everyone's just pushing into the field. Like, whatever. I, I would say that, you know, the, the game has a lot of merit in its co-op, in the, the necessary co-op for for playing with multiple people. The, the, the co-op makes it great. More people defending, more people attacking. It just makes for an overall more solid feel to the gameplay. So I'm gonna wait a couple seconds here and get a really good character. Yeah, need a thousand dollars and I have 997. Thousand, here we go. Got it. Now hopefully I don't just get sniped. Because I can just get sniped in the head and get killed in one shot, which is always very saddening. But I'm gonna go in... Oh, no, no, no. Don't, sh don't shoot me in the face. I do not much appreciate being shot in the face. I much appreciate if you did not shoot me in the face, in fact. Can I destroy some vehicles? Oh, I'm only at 14th this time. I'm not doing nearly as well as before. That's sad. That's very sad. I feel like my team is less organized this time, and I'm taking a lot of damage. But that's okay. I mean, you can't get a good team every time. Because, I mean, let's say that half the people in the team are good and can organize the teams well. Well, if all of them end up on one team, well, then... It's just... It's a very sad day. Oh, come on. Stupid repairers. Yeah, see, they, they've got good repairing going in the field right now, and we've doomed. Which means I should be out there Oh, Aw, see, I just got sniped. I knew that was gonna happen. So apparently they're just getting raped left and right. That's cool. You know, whatever, guys. Just do what you want. That's cool. Oh, my. They've got quite the firepower out there. But I can't repair you that much. Get back here. Get back here! Yeah, nope. He had that coming. I'm almost dead. I'm gonna die here. I died. Wait, someone placed an Allen Cannon Beacon? I don't think that's in our base. I don't think they had enough time to get into our base. I think that's just them being stupid and wasting money. And I don't count a beacon, which is like a super weapon. You can like one-hit kill buildings. If you, it, it takes like a minute to go off. But, uh, guys, repair that damn thing. Um, so it's like very expensive. It costs a thousand bucks.
So I don't know why you just waste it, especially at this point in the game. Later on, it makes sense to waste them, because you can, like, fake people out into thinking that, Guys, repair this! You repair faster if you shoot that part. But, like, it, it, later in the game, if you're at, like, a standoff, sometimes faking it and making it look like there's a beacon can be very helpful. But at this point, it doesn't do anything! It doesn't do anything at all! It doesn't do nothing! I'm going to attempt... Oh, no. Ah, missiles flying over my head. That's not cool. I'm going to attempt... Attempt to help solve... Oh, hi there. I just saw a vehicle get blown up in our base. That means someone is probably in our base now. Is there someone over there? Okay, at least people are finally getting tanks. Uh, the backing up steering is reversed in this game. The, the backing up steering is reversed in this game, so I keep turning the wrong direction when I'm backing up. Okay. I need to stop these guys before they destroy our obelisk. This is not cool, guys. Please stop shooting our obelisk. I very much appreciate that. Okay, thank you, GG, and bye-bye. Yeah, one more hit. There, got him. I think, maybe. Okay. Okay, good. We're, we're good. The buildings are mostly being healed. Whoa, that guy went flying far when he died. I love watching the bodies go flying over. That was something that was not in the original game. You, you could get blasted in the face with a, with a, a shell and, like... And you just stay in one spot. You just wouldn't even move. You just like collapse to your knees and die. Which was which was humorous, and it was like it's very nostalgic for me because it was like authentic back then. But I do gotta say I love I love watching the, the bodies fly over. I wish there were gibbs, there's no gibbs, but the bodies just flying is fantastic. Okay, what are you doing right there? You are not making me happy at all. I killed him. I killed him with a very satisfying boink! I love that sound. Boink! It's very nice. Okay, what are you doing, buddy, Mr. Medium Tank? Piss off, piss off, piss off, piss off, piss off. Yeah, you just get out and repair in your base. You do that. It, oh, no, guys. No, no, no. You're doing it wrong. You see, you're supposed to push forward, not run away. Okay, I'm running away, I'm running away. I'm not pushing forward, I'm running away like a little pansy. I don't want to lose my tank. Even though I can easily replace it because I have money. But I don't want to lose it, it's mine! I already named it Blinky! And it's my tank and I don't want to lose it. Fine. You cannot have it, it's mine. There are many like it, but this one is mine. This is not good. Hey guys! Repair me! Okay, I will show you guys how repairing is done. I will be the guy that saves everything because you guys are too busy being new. Firing health. I see people sneaking into the base over there. What you doing sneaking into my base? Ah, oh, they didn't make it very far. At least I don't think so. Did they? Did they make it back here? No, no, we're good. See, they could like sneak in there and place a beacon there, which would completely obliterate our power source. It would, it would be disarmed. I mean, we, we'd have a minute to get to it, and we're all right here, so it wouldn't be a problem. But I will say that they could do that. It's a possibility. It's something. It is a strategy that works fairly frequently. And I do wish I could show more strategies here. I should go to a slightly emptier server and show us more strategies. In a big server, it's just... It's not brute force. I'm not going to say that it's just like having more tanks means you win. And more repairers means you win. But they definitely help. And like, there is a strategy. Thank you for that. There is a strategy to them. It's just, it's a very subtle strategy. Sometimes you'll get the opportunity to rush around to the back of their base and, and take them over. And you got to take that chance. And you got to be able to organize that stuff too, which I can't because I'm talking to you guys. I'm not talking to them. I'm talking to you guys. I, I can't really help organize strategies, so I'm kind of relying on someone else to do it, which is, you know, maybe they're all doing Let's Plays and no one's talking to anyone. Like, you just never know that, right? So, organizing, like, rushes of, like, stuff. For, for Nod in particular, which I'm on right now, we can use stealth tanks, which the enemy can't see until they, they get attacked or until they get within range. Um, so definitely that's a, a good one to rush, like, five or six of those at a time. They're also very powerful. The only problem is they're, they're, they're like, made of tinfoil. They're, they're really weak. Glass cannon. Um, yeah, it, there are strategies like that, and, and GDI is a little different, because GDI is more about brute force. They have the heavy tanks, the very thick armor tanks. Um, oh, guy. You just, po you just pushed him to his death. I hope you feel good about that. But GDI is more just about brute force, so having more tanks, um, and hitting them at the right time. That's important too, but not getting a lot of strategy here, because this is mostly just 
sitting in sitting in field and hoping the other team thanks server and hoping the other team screws up slips up somehow and we can we can push in it's like oh no look at i can shoot my little blue gun at you whoa did he did just shoot into their base i have to check that in the footage later but i think it just shot into their base that's a little bit of a glitch a little bit of a glitch Remember correctly, that could happen in like the previous game, but that was it. That was actually a glitch. It was in, it was not supposed to happen. This was obvious by its behavior, which means you could glitch out the obelisk and make it like ineffective against defending income, defending against incoming rushes. Uh, okay, okay. Our tanks are gonna die here. We have two light tanks. Oh no! Don't push me to the Tiberium, you moron! Don't do that. That will kill me. See this blue shit here? That kills me in the face! Ah! Actually, it kills me in the feet. Somehow walking through it kills me. I don't know. It's a thing that happens. Seems legit. Okay, so we're actually finally making some ground. Oh, no, 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 no. I only have 13. Oh! I, I love stealth tanks. And I loved in the previous game, like... Like I said before, I, d I do a lot of mods. Okay, I did a lot of mods for that game, and one of them was like changing stealth colors. Mine was like rainbow. It was like an entire gay pride parade on one tank. It was awesome. And this one is just like, oh, electric view. Is someone behind me? Yes, okay. I will get out of your way then. Though I don't know why you wanted to go into the field with that much health. It seems like a death wish to me. But you do what you want. It's your $600 spent on that tank. Oopsies, why am I going that way? Ah, this is painful. Okay. Everyone, get out of my way. Ah, I'm going to the other side of the field, because this is ridiculous. I, I can't cram four vehicles in there. So, adios, suckers, I'm going to the other side. Um, okay, oh, that's an APC. You cannot come into our base. That'd be awesome if you just didn't come, in, come into our base. Come on! See, I'm like tinfoil. That, that's that's a, a machine gun that is doing that much damage to me. And now well, now that's a tank, but... I was doing less damage to him than he was to me, which is which is really sad. Come on, come here. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. No, 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 no. You can just die, please. Buddy, come back here. Did we get it? What building needs repair? Oh, great. Our power plant just got blown up because my team is full of morons. No, no, I don't blame them. I do blame them a little bit, but I don't blame them as much as it sounds like I blame them. Uh, it is just kind of saddening that they did win by pushing us further into our base. That is kind of unfortunate. But it means we're probably going to lose this game, because with the power plant, everything costs twice as much, and... The refinery. The refinery's fine. And we uh, we also lose our base defenses, so they can just walk really nilly into our base and do whatever they want with it. I'm trying to defend, but I can only do so much. I am but one tank. Yeah, okay, you just get out and die. Thank you. Thank you for getting out and dying like I politely asked you. Politely asked you. Politefully? Is that a word? Or did I just make that up? I probably just made that up, but I like it. Very politefully. I like it. Everyone should go and, and email Merriam-Webster and get them to add that to the dictionary, if it isn't already there. Politefully. You should always, you should make sure you email them politefully as well. Don't be all like, oh, rah, 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 rah very politeful in your regard. Unfortunately, at this point, when we lose something important like the power plant, games like this can end up being... eh. Because basically all it is is staring at your doom, your inevitable doom. Because eventually, we know our base is going to die. It's almost a given, unless we get some miracle like a spy that can take out their, their buildings. It's basically an inevitable thing that we will die. Or that we will at least lose by points. We're 6,000 points behind right now, so... If the time runs out, we'll lose. So it gets to be a little bit of a eh, situation when you're stalemated. And in this situation, because you're like, oh, I've lost a building, and they're going to win. So I just have to bide my time until they do. Which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. Hey, hey, hey. Don't you be shooting me in the face with your missiles. I shoot you in the face with my missiles. I have money. I do have money. I have lots of money, so I'm not really worried about that side of things. What I'm more worried about is that, well, there's not a lot I can do with that money as one person. Uh, okay, and then that happens, and I'm like, oh god. Airstrip! No! Don't lose the airstrip! 
Help! Prepare the airship! Everyone run to the airship! Okay, guys, shoot this, not the purchase terminal. Uh, if you shoot the purchase terminal, it doesn't actually repair the building. Is anything dying while we're doing this? And if not, it's kind of dying-ish. It's sort of dying-ish. Ah, can you go away? Gotcha. Oh no, oh, and you got me. Almost made it to the MCT. Alblos under attack, the Hand of Nod's under attack, the Airship's under attack. What isn't under attack? That would probably be a much shorter list. The Refinery, I don't think the Refinery's under attack. There we go, got him. Got him, got him, got him. I've, oh, I've dropped a 10. That's sad. But I'm on the losing team, and on the losing team, I'm in 4, which is not bad. Not bad for, for being on the losing team. But I've got to find more stuff to do. Hey. I see you trying to sneak into the base. That's not cool, man. That's not cool. That's not cool at all. Okay. Gotta keep... Oh, they have repairers up here, too. Usually when teams, like, get this kind of advantage, they get really sloppy with their repairing of, of units, and this team is solid. This team is absolutely solid. Uh, only got five minutes left, and then they'll win by points. I don't know if they're gonna get any more buildings. They may. They may. They mate. They might slash may. They mate. They mate get more buildings, but speed hack detected. For me, I don't have a speed hack. I, I noticed when I was playing this the first time, someone was playing with a speed hack. But I don't have a speed hack. I'm just lagging around like balls. Hopefully that doesn't get me like banned or whatever. Uh, but I have like video footage to prove it, so I'm I, I'm okay. I'm not gonna have to quit this game. Luckily. This game is actually really fun. I actually really enjoy playing this game. There, don't shoot me! Don't shoot me! Don't tase me, bro! No, no, no! Just right off! Just right off! Yeah, that's right. I just went toe-to-toe -to -toe with an APC and survived. I want that as a t-shirt. Someone send me that t-shirt. I went toe-to-toe -to -toe with an APC, and all I got with this, was this lousy t-shirt. Ah. Someone's inside, guys! Someone's inside! They can wreak much havoc in there. Can I hit him? Can I hit him? No, but he's running, he's running. He's got low health, he's running. He's running! Where's he going? Is he there? Yeah, he can go into there, I don't care. They're 9,000 points ahead of us. Okay, I'm not speed hacking. Damn thing. You guys can't see that message, but right beside... I might hide my cam, just so you guys can see that. It's like, oh, speed hack detected! And I'm like, um, okay. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Jump, jump, jump! Oh! Damn it, troll face, you got me again. Oh, he hit me with one of the damn... Uh, the, the air strikes that I was bitching about earlier. And you got me with one of those. That's unfortunate. Hi, Tiberium Harvester. How's it going? Okay. Poopy Joe just killed five people. And six people. I don't know what that guy's doing, but I don't like it. Hey, you can't kill me. I'm the gingerbread man. I'm... The gingerbread dude. Oh. Oh, and we lost anyway. Uh, okay, we're just gonna get a marksman, and you can watch me fail at sniping people. That's what's gonna happen now. Yeah, that's right. I'm just gonna come and kill you guys from behind. That's the kind of guy I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, come repair me, please. Repair me. Thank you. Why am I stuck? I'm stuck. I'm stuck. My W key stopped working there. That was really sad. Nope, nope, nope. Oh. But I killed two people with a sniper, sort of. One guy was standing perfectly still, so I'm not sure it counts. Oh, so we lost our vehicle production too. So they are actually going to kill us, maybe. Actually, no. We're, we're going to hand up, hold out to the end here. Prepare the refinery. Prepare it. Prepare it! Let's see if we can actually... Let's see if we can actually hold out against it for a minute and a half. I'm taking damage. I'm taking much in the way of damage. Where is it? I can hear it, but I can't... Is it up on top? Uh, in, in the original game, you could only go up on the top in some maps, so it was like... I was kind of wondering... Ah, we lost. Okay, so we did lose before time expired, so... Anyway, I am way over time for this episode, so I'm going to cut out some of the more mundane stuff so you guys don't have to deal with that crap. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to play this game, and I highly recommend you play this game, check out the link in the description below. Absolutely free. Will always be free. No ads, no nothing. Absolutely free this game, and it's fantastic. Uh, servers are run by all kinds of people. You saw how many servers were in that list earlier, so... 
Thanks again for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, check out the channel link below, and I will see you guys in the next episode of whatever I do next. Maybe more of this. I don't know. See you guys next time.